<laughs> you know, I feel like I've made this video before. You know, wait, wait, wait a minute. No, no, it's because I have. It's because I have. You know how many years in Rona? Three. Actually, no, no, no. My bad. It's different. It's different because we lost in the first round this time instead of the second round. I'm sorry. My mistake. You know, I'm, I'm having to watch Friends to cope. All right. Oh, my God. What a joke. What a joke of a franchise. I feel like Joe Roth right now. What a joke. Joe Roth, very good YouTuber slash TikToker. What a joke. What a joke of a team. This is unbelievable. This is the best chance we had in years. We had... If we won this game, which we should have... We would have we would have had another home playoff game, and that would have been the easiest path to the NFC Championship. And if the 49ers ended up losing, we would have had a home field at, in the NFC Championship. But you know, no, no, that doesn't matter because we decided to lose in the first round again. <sighs> the Packers just simply just outplayed us, coaching, you know, everything. The Packers they took it from us, and good for them. You know, I hope they beat San Francisco. But this, oh man, if you hear the Friends theme song, I'm sorry. All right, I have to watch this. Oh my God. Mm. People are home right now, so I'm not going to scream. But if people weren't home and I was home alone, you best believe I would scream. All right. Oh my God. This is terrible. I'm, I'm just trying to find words, man. I'm trying to find words. This is, you know, at most of the game I was actually laughing. If they, if the when the Packers scored, I was just laughing. You know, I, I honestly found it funny. Once they got past forty out, I was just, I was just laughing. Like at that point, it was just funny. Like I wasn't even mad. I was just like, fuck, fuck, just drop seventy on us. I don't care. And I'm honestly, I'm honestly sad they didn't drop seventy on us, man. Instead of us scoring. Late in the game, which meant nothing. Why not them score 70? I feel like that would be better. Oh, my God. You know, I make this video every year. And I, this is, it's just a tradition now. It's because that's what the Cowboys do. That, that's what they do. I mean, like, no matter how good we are in the regular season, it doesn't matter. It's because it's it's the Cowboys in the playoffs, and that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, I felt good about the game, but at the end of the day, it's the Cowboys in the playoffs, right? And today, it was the Cowboys in the playoffs. We lost 48-32. to 32. Defense. What the fuck was that? Where was the defense? Does the, did the defense even exist today? Oh, my God. I put out a poll on Twitter that said, who would you rather have at QB, my dog or Dak Prescott? More people chose my dog than Dak Prescott. And let's, let's get into that for a minute, okay? Dak Prescott, I don't care how good of a season you had in the regular season. If it doesn't go over to the playoffs, it doesn't matter at all. At all. This dude, I mean, yeah, he had over 400 yards, but he was just stat batting. It didn't even matter. He had, um, he made some bad throws today. Him and Lamb were just, were off today. I mean, later in the game they got going, but it didn't matter. Um, he threw multiple picks. I think one was a pick six. Um, Dan Quinn, goodbye. Mike McCarthy, goodbye. I'm done. Clear house. Jerry Jones, you, your old ass better clear house because this is, no, this is horrible. Cowboys fans deserve better. All right. We deserve so much better. Oh, my God. I think we set all kinds of records today. Oh jeez, I think we're the first first um first team in the in the new playoff bracket to lose to the seventh seed, which yeah, like I said, setting all kinds of records today. Not 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 good records at all. <sighs> My God, I can't believe this is it. it it's like this. Oh, I just gotta retweet. Uh, <sighs> you know, it's it's honestly. No, it's honestly pretty funny. Looking back at it, it is pretty funny. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for the draft. You know, I really can't. Oh, give me Caleb Williams. Number one overall. Trade. Trade, uh... Let's see who we can trade. Uh, 
trade you know what trade everybody trade everybody number one overall pick take caleb williams get the second overall pick third overall pick whatever it takes we need to rebuild this is ridiculous we this is ridiculous like it's not no it's oh my god this this was this has been me the whole day just like oh my god <sighs> quoting joe roth again Pff, what a joke <sighs> my god so like, I'm gonna say the same stuff like the whole video because I'm I'm just honestly I'm honestly speechless. My God, dude! Like all this time watching this team and you know believing you know this year might be different. It, it's not. We have home field advantage. Lost or won sixteen at home. Doesn't matter. Doesn't doesn't matter, does it? Because it's the playoff Cowboys. Okay, so we'll just we'll just lose. That's fine. <sighs> My God, everybody. Except for C.D. Lamb, Mike Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence, Tyler Smith, Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, Trayvon Diggs, get out, get out! I don't want to see you. I I want you locked out of the facility tomorrow. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. You know what? No, no, it's it's fine. You know it is fine because the Arlington Renegades won. They won the XFL championship. Ooh, a football team in this city actually won something. Oh my gosh, it's the Arlington Renegades XFL team. As a matter of fact, speaking of XFL, let's just send the Cowboys there and bring the Arlington Renegades over to the NFL team. You know, I think they win a Super Bowl quicker than Dallas can. Oh my god. And, uh, no, screw CFL. How about CFL? Indoor Football League. Arena Football League. Get out of here. Send them there. I'm done. Get out of here. My god, what a joke. Whew. Honestly, I don't have much more to say. I hope this reaction video has been an all-timer. <sighs> I mean, I have I have plenty of things to say before I start recording, and then when, once I start recording, I just kind of forget. So a lot of this is just kind of on the fly. Like I don't, I mean, I don't ever plan reaction videos. Like I don't ever plan it what to say. Well, in my head, I do every time, but then when I get in front of a camera, I just forget what I'm gonna say. <sighs> Like a lot of this has just been nodding my head. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, the game speaks for itself. I I don't, yeah, I really do not know what, like, I don't, I don't, I don't have this whole speech prepared. Like, I, a lot of, it's, I'm just going. Like, I mean, if you watch the game, you know, like, that, that spoke for itself. Like, I, that's it. The game spoke for itself. 48 to 32 on a for supposed really good defense. Yeah, what defense? I mean, honestly, shit. Oh, God. <sighs> and Dak, I don't think we've gotten to the into Dak Prescott. Uh, I mean, we did a little bit, but not like in depth. <laughs> but let's talk about Dak Prescott for a minute. Dak Prescott, one of the richest contracts in the NFL currently, I believe. And he comes out here. Actually, no, I think we did talk about Dak, but I don't care. I'm going to talk about him again. One of the richest contracts in the NFL. And. Ah, man, I, I like I, I don't know what to say. It was one of the richest contracts in the NFL and just goes out and plays like this. Like, he can put up an MVP season and and lose in the playoffs. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't care what you do in the regular season. The, the end goal is a Super Bowl, obviously, for all teams. Well, contending teams. And, and you go out there and just and play like that? I mean, not just that, everybody. Everybody, like C.D. Lamb early on, I mean, Dak wasn't helping him out. He didn't look good. The only good real MVP I can think of today was Jake Ferguson. Three touchdowns. And Turpin had some good returns. Honestly, that was probably it. That was that was it. That was it. Paul, Pollard did decent as well, but <sighs> I don't want I honestly don't care who leaves. Anybody can leave. I mean, like... Honestly, whoever leaves, I, I won't be mad about it. Well, maybe, maybe a few players I'll be upset if they leave, but other than just, like, a few, I don't, I don't care. Anybody can go. I don't, like, we just need, like, a whole culture change. Like, Jones needs to step down. McCarthy needs to go. Hire Bill Belichick, Mike Vrabel, Jim Harbaugh come over from Michigan. We need something. We need something. I think we just need to rebuild. It's time. Like, we're not winning anything anytime soon. So you know what? Just let's just tear the house down, rebuild, um, draft the young quarterback, um, or you know work with Trey Lance. You know have him develop because I mean I don't know why other reason why we traded for him. 
Um, just to have more depth, but screw that. I'd rather, I'd, honestly, I'd take him in the long term over Dak if we develop him. <sighs> but yeah, man, uh, another year, same video. Three years in a row. I've been doing this channel for, uh, I've had the channel running for three or four years now. And yeah, probably about three years. And every year I have to make this video. Do I like making this video? No? I mean, I hope it's funny for you guys. I hope it's entertaining watching me cry over my favorite team losing again. But I don't I don't really like, you know, I don't like making this video. I like making people laugh, you know. I, that's just what I like to do. So I hope y'all are uh, entertained by this. But, uh, no, I, I don't... I don't like having to watch other playoff teams and thinking that, oh, man, I wish we were them. <sighs> no, it's, it is hard, man. It is hard. I'm, I'm having to watch Friends right now. Friends is a go-to show. <sighs> but uh, we're at 11 minutes, um, so that's going to be the end of my video. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time. Love y'all. Peace.